Yeah, it was incredible. Just how difficult it is. And, and I'd imagine it's a whole lot more difficult doing it um, in reality than some of the training stuff we've done here. The two teams facing off in the 89th annual Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas, received an opportunity to visit Ford Bliss to examine a few static displays and operate some of the virtual weapon systems soldiers use to train. Our ability to host the teams here is another way to help out El Paso, already a great host for these teams when they come to Sun City to play in the Sun Bowl. What's neat about it too is that we get to put three teams together. The two teams playing in the Sun Bowl, but also the Army team. Those are the men and women, the soldiers of Fort Bliss, and the civilians who help us train. Players on the UCLA Bruins and the Pittsburgh Panthers drew parallels from their athletic backgrounds with what they experienced. Going through some of these training exercises reminds you of practice a little bit, to be honest. Um, but again, I would say the biggest thing that I've, I've felt just being here is just how cool it is that you guys do this um, and, and do it not only here and on, on the fort, on the base, um, but doing it overseas as well. For some, the time spent on the installation hit close to home. I have a couple service members in my family, so like I'm very ecstatic when I get around those, guys, those kind of people because I, I'm so thankful for what they're doing because it, it takes a lot to enlist and go fight for your country. It's a blessing to come see what you guys are doing from the outside because you don't get to see it every day. You know, our soldiers can watch these players. These are Division 1A teams play on any given Saturday, but these players don't often get to see how intricate and how complex the training and preparation is that soldiers perform to be proficient at their duties as well. A lot of these athletes say they left Fort Bliss with an added sense of gratitude for the men and women in uniform. Thank you for your service. Like, I love you guys. We know y'all guys are working hard. Like I said earlier, man, we have so much admiration for, for stuff you guys do, and it's just grown just being here. Reporting in Fort Bliss, Texas, Sergeant Quentin G. We've got a howitzer here, a Bradley fighting vehicle, an Abrams tank, and then the Apache helicopter. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, give me some more platform shoes, man. Let me look, man. 